It's time for episode 28 of the Viral Marketing Show where you are going to learn how to get sponsors for your small business. So welcome back to the Viral Marketing Show. Thank you so much for coming back today. Uh, we have a great topic today on how to get sponsors for your small business. If you're a viral marketing client or you publish videos or content online and you have an audience, I'm gonna show you how to raise money today and specifically what those deliverables are. So stay tuned. This is a really great video. And if you're looking for uh, to get sponsor money, I'm gonna lay down exactly how to do it. So with that, before we get there, just wanna let you know, the mission here of this show is to help you attract customers, attract cust uh, clients, customers, uh, patients, anybody that uh, sees you as their expert advisor, uh, as a trusted expert to help guide them through a difficult problem. And you do that with the mission of the show is by doing it by publishing helpful educational content. You see, when you get yourself on camera or you write a blog post or you do a podcast, whatever it may be, we like video here at Viral Marketing, um, you know, you're able to scale from talking one to one to now one to many. And many more people can get to know you, like you, trust you, see you, like you see me, and hopefully kind of come forward to basically do business with you. And that's what we want to do here at Viral Marketing for you. We want to get you on camera. We interview you on a webcam. We make it really easy to help you publish educational content to stay in touch with your number one business asset, which is your database. It's your customers, your past clients, the people that you know, all those people in your database that you may be neglecting, that you're not staying in touch with like you should be. So like I said, every show, I want you to go to our homepage of our website. If you have not read it, please go read it. It is our official video marketing plan. It is the plan to reconnect with your number one business asset, your database. How do you do that? As well as how to grow it, how to communicate with it using video by creating helpful educational content, you know, something good enough people will be willing to pay money to receive. And then how do you follow up with people in your database to set appointments and actually get business? And that plan is the plan that we implement here uh, for you at Viral Marketing. Uh, you can do it yourself or you can hire our firm, but go check that out. I want you to read that. So as we get into the meat of the show today of getting sponsors, getting people to pay you money for access to your audience, access to your database, that's a real valuable asset. If you're a viral marketing client, I'm gonna give you a different way of thinking about maybe your business. So I want you to follow me here before I get to the specific things that you could sell access to, uh, to raise money for your video blog uh, easily to offset your viral marketing fee. We'll talk about that here in a second. But I want you to think about kind of how I think about viral marketing and how a lot of businesses think in terms of lead generation, customer acquisition, and delivering the actual service. And especially, you know, in the world we live in today, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you know, the money, the work, the value is really in generating the lead or getting the attention of the prospective customer. It's not so much in the, for most part, in the deliverable of the work that seems to get chopped up and outsourced and actually doing the work is an abundant supply. There's lots of people who are the doers of what they're, they do, right? Like let's say the plumber that does the plumbing or the electrician that does the electrical or the real estate agent that sells the house or the CPA that does the taxes. There's lots of those people, right? However, there's not very many good marketers of what they do. The ability to sell that service, to acquire the customer. And when you develop those skills and if you're watching this show, you are developing those skills. That's what we talk about here, marketing professional services. But as you develop those skills, you're going to be able to be in a position where you're in control of your business, you generate the lead, and that's where it's all going. When you see all these apps showing up where it's like, you know, house call, where it sends someone to your house to fix your sink, or you see online, you know, they're selling leads online to you. I mean, that's where all the money is and all the venture capital is going is to get people's attention to generate the lead. That's where the money is, and they sell it off to the doers of what they do. So I want you to think of your business in those two aspects. You really kind of have this engine that, that, that drives demand, and then you have the deliverable. And so many people don't understand those are two very important things. And if you really double down on driving the demand, you really never have to worry about money because I'm honestly, lead generation solves most all business problems if you have lots of demand. Lead generation is demand. So what I'm getting at here is you want to think about your business as your lead generation machine is like a media company. So follow me here. Basically, what are you doing with the video blog? 
you're starting a magazine with regular publish publication deadlines, right? Your educational two videos a month, which we recommend on the viral marketing plan, you're sending those out. On top of that, you have an audience, you have opens, you have clicks in your, in your emails, you have an audience on Facebook, you have an audience on social media, you have people that download your podcast that we also create for you with your videos and iTunes. That's a media company, it's publishing educational information as a media company. Now, what happens is you can now run ads inside that media for call to actions for businesses for the back end, which would be for many of you watching this, we have a lot of real estate clients, which would be to help you, someone buy or sell a home. It could be to help someone get their taxes done, help someone get in shape if you're a fitness trainer. But it's really two separate things. If you think of in terms of your marketing as a separate media company, that's a publication company, right? And you run ads in that to your business. And this is what a lot of our, a lot of our big um, top real estate clients do. Uh, we have these real estate clients, uh, wonderful clients that run very large teams. And they've really understood that where the money is, is being the marketer of what they do. Right, and that's not a new concept. You know, Peter Drucker, who's one of the, you know, uh, management gurus of all time, said the only two things that really add value to business is marketing and innovation. Everything else can be hired out or as an expense, right? Because marketing is the creation of the customer. So they double down on the marketing. What they realize is we're going to put our time into video creation, strategic partnerships, press releases, online leader generation, maybe outbound calling, whatever it is, whatever your cup of tea is for how you want to do it. But then there's multiple things on the back end, meaning, hey, we could uh, cash buy your home, make an investment property. Maybe we can flip your property. Maybe we can sell it. Um, maybe we could, uh, I have a property management firm, right? There's all these options. Um, maybe they also own the mortgage company, the title company, right? So there's all these options, all these offers on the back end for this suite of services, if you will. But it's the front end. It's the advertising that drives that business. Does that make sense? So what I'm getting at today, when we talk about sponsorships. Media companies have sponsorships. That's how they make money. I mean, when you have a television show, you sell advertising. That's how you make money. Uh, Google, <laughs> they're actually, I consider them a media company in many ways. 97% or something of the revenue comes from pay-per-click advertising, right? Um, radio comes from advertising. The way, you, the way you make money, and you may not be aware of this because you haven't thought of a media company as really what is driving the front end attention, lead generation side of your business, is that you could sell advertising and people will pay for it. People buy advertising. I'm sure you have at some point, okay? So let's transition now. If you're a viral marketing client, here's basically what you're doing or if you follow the viral marketing plan, let me give you a general idea of what you have. You probably already know this if you're watching, but you know, you build a video blog, a web page, a website, and we start publishing educational, helpful, you know, videos, answering commonly asked questions up on YouTube and on your video blog. Then those videos get, you know, inserted into an email and they're emailed out to your database. Uh, they're posted on all your social media accounts and they also get syndicated uh, to iTunes. You can actually, we actually take your videos and put them on iTunes. So you can actually have your own iTunes podcast. All right. So, um, what that is, is that's, that those are distribution channels for content, okay? You can sell access and sell advertising spots in that system to one, offset your viral marketing fee. So it's a few hundred dollars a month to hire us. You could easily raise a few hundred dollars to completely zero cost or zero base the fee that you pay us. So maybe wondering, who would I go to and what would I give them? How do I present a sponsorship agreement to somebody. Well, let me give you a few ideas. I'm gonna give you actually 10 ideas. You don't have to use all 10. These are 10 things, 10 items of value, 10 sponsorship options. You can be one, it could be five, it could be all 10 of them. You can pick and choose from this buffet of 10 I'm giving you, all right? But this is what you would write down and this is the sponsorship agreement. You would put a price on it, maybe $100 a month. Um, maybe $275 a month, maybe $1,000 a month. It's completely up to you and what you can get sponsors to pay based upon the value they're going to receive of the business they're going to get from being in front of your audience. Make sense? So we want to talk about selling advertising spots in the viral marketing program, essentially. So are you ready? Let's go through all 10. Here we go. So the number one thing, and these are in no particular order, but this one is the first. The number one thing that I would do 
it is if you were to raise uh, sponsorship money for your video blog, is give your sponsor a live read at the beginning of your video. So for those of you that listen to podcasts, go on iTunes, go download a couple podcasts. Um, one podcast I listen to is old Tim Ferriss, you know, about uh, life hacking. And if you'll download a Tim Ferriss podcast, you press play, it doesn't go straight to the show. It just starts off with, hey, this is Tim Ferriss here. And before the show today, I want to tell you about this great product, why I love this product and how I use the product and how it's great. And he goes on for like five minutes. That's a long time. He does like a five minute, they call it in radio, a live read. It's not really a live read because it's recorded, but you basically talk about your sponsor and talk them up and why you think it's important being very authentic. And then you cut into the video. So one of the value propositions you can give to your sponsor is to just to give them a live shout out, a live read, if you will, at the beginning of your videos. Talk about them. How cool is that? No work required of the sponsor. That's what's key. Number two, on your video blog, so when people land on your blog and they watch your videos and they land on your website, usually in the right-hand column or the right column of the video blog, we can put a banner ad, a little advertisement that says, uh, hey, here's this offer for this person. Click here to get it whatever it may be, all right? If it's a mortgage company, for example, it would be uh, get, your, get your free rate quote. If you don't think you can afford a comb, you're probably wrong. Click here to find out what you qualify for. Someone on your blog, you know, clicks that ad, it goes to your sponsor's webpage and you probably set some tracking up to know how many clicks and how much business that person got. You can very easily put an ad on your video blog. Number two, number three, put a call to action and then add a banner ad or something, some type of call to action in your emails that go out. So when you send your email out and it has your video in it, it has your content there and has your call to actions, you got a whole other section where it's like, oh, by the way, here's one of our featured partners, one of our featured sponsors. Here's some information about them. You know, click here to go take action with them. And what's cool is it's all trackable, isn't it? So that's pretty sweet. That's number three. Number four, you can invite them into your videos as a guest. All right. This is actually called native advertising. You can go check this out. It's kind of when the advertising is like built into the show or the content, all right? But let's just say, for example, again, I'll just keep using real estate examples. Let's say you're a real estate professional. You would just, you know, ask the mortgage person to sit next to you on the show or in your video and you talk to them, sharing ideas about what's going on with mortgages or whatnot or, or financing for down payments to get financed for a home. And if you can't actually have them on set on your video, uh, you could easily have a phone conversation and we can just cut to the phone conversation, the video and editing. But to just include them as a guest on your videos is very valuable. So they get access and they get exposure and they get aligned with you to your database, right? It's just like a book tour. You go watch any late show at night. You go listen to any radio show. They have some big name guest on while well, they provide some content and then they get to the pitch about why they're there. It's for some movie, some book, some show, just like that. All right, number five, you can make a post on your Facebook business page about endorsing the vendor. Maybe you make a video about why you recommend this person, you do a little write up about why you recommend this person and put it on your Facebook business page. But you may be wondering, what's the value of that? It just gets pushed down the feed. Hang on, you can actually pin the post to the top of the Facebook business page. So if you're gonna really recommend somebody, and this would be like maybe like one of your platinum sponsorships, you would say, I will literally pin an endorsement with a call to action at the top of my Facebook business page. So that shows every time someone comes to my business page right at the very top. How cool is that? That's something that can really add a lot of value. Now you can only do it for one person. So make that for your most important sponsor, whoever gives you the most money. All right, almost done. We're getting there. Number six, this one's pretty good, but it's something that's worth mentioning is you will write them a very intelligent, and very well written, maybe a couple hundred word uh, story for a Google or Yelp review for them. So you, there's nothing wrong with you endorsing somebody, especially on Google. You could write a really nice Google review about why you work with this person, why you like them, why you choose to do business with them, why you recommend them to your customers, what they've done, what do you know they've done for your customers. Oh, you would just blow someone's mind with a really cool review like that. Like they'll, they'll, their day will light up if you write something really nice. So that could be one of the value propositions you add is I will sit down and actually write you something really intelligent for one of your reviews. Almost done. Do you see the value here? Do you see how when you go share this with somebody who would see lots of value being in front of your audience? This is something you can charge for. This is selling a sponsorship. All right, number seven. 
This is a good one. Include a letter of recommendation about them. Write them a letter of recommendation and include it in your new customer welcome packet. So whenever you get a new customer, you probably have some type of welcome email, welcome packet. Maybe you, even have, maybe you even have something that you send out before you even go on an appointment or something that you send to a new prospect. Include a letter of recommendation that says, hey, here's a couple letters of recommendation for my preferred partners. When you work with me for my service, here's some other people you may want to know about. Don't make an ad. Write them an actual letter of recommendation. Include that in your prospect or new customer welcome packet. How cool is that? That's wonderful. You're getting them in front with a letter of recommendation to all of your new customers. I mean, that alone is probably worth money, let alone the, the 10 things here. All right, three more. So when you include them in your emails or you include their call to action in one of your emails that go to your database, you can actually track, as you know, in email marketing programs, like we send your emails through vertical response here at Viral Marketing, but you may be able to send your emails through constant contact, get response, there's a whole bunch of them, right? But the point is you can track who's clicking the links. So you can go to your, your sponsors and say, hey guys, here's all the people in my database that were clicking links on your stuff in my emails. Have fun, go give them a call. How great is that? Like giving your sponsors some real leads of people that were clicking on and engaging the, in the links about them in your emails. You can give that to your sponsors to give them something tangible, right? Just like we give you as a viral marketing client to call and prioritize follow up with the people that watch your videos that you send to your database because to those people, your position is the expert and they obviously know who you are when you call, which is great. It's a warm call. Okay, almost done. Number nine. One of the things you can do for your sponsors is just interview them, not as kind of a guest on an educational piece of content for your audience, but rather interview them on the phone or get them in front of a camera where you interview them to really create a branded piece of content for them. You know, if you're doing viral marketing and you're getting on video, you are more expert at this than most people. You can guide them just to record a video of just asking about their business and their story and who they help and the problem they solve and what makes them unique. And just sitting down and interviewing them for their own branded piece of content that they could use on their Facebook, they could use in their marketing, they could put on their website that was something very simple for you to help them create. And we'll edit that and put that together for you at no extra charge here if you're a viral marketing client. It's not that much work if you send in the content. We'll brand it for one of your sponsors. How much value is that? Last one, number 10. This one's so simple and there's so much value in number 10, but it's usually completely overlooked. Something as simple as you will regularly meet with them, whether in person, on the phone, or maybe you invite all your sponsors together for maybe a group meeting, a group dinner or something once a month or every quarter, just to help them grow their business. If you're watching this show, you're like a marketing and sales expert because you're deemed an expert, not by your peers, like all the other marketing gurus out there. Don't care about them. You're deemed an expert by your audience. And the fact that you're watching these shows or you pay attention to viral marketing puts you in a pretty elite group. Like you know some things that most people don't know. And I bet you if you talk to some just regular business owners that never had the training or never received the training like you're getting on the show or have been involved this way of thinking of entrepreneurialism or business or whatever it may be, you just sitting down and meeting with them, asking them such basic questions about their business they probably never really thought much about, especially you know small businesses, which is what you're targeting or how to get sponsorships for small businesses. You can really help them. So just some type of regular one-on-one, -on -one, face to face or over their phone or some type of group meeting can bring so much value to your whole sponsorship package to bring everyone together. Now, let's go through all 10 really quick. Do a live read at the start of your videos, put a banner ad on your blog, put a banner ad in your emails, invite them into your regular educational videos as a guest, pin a post about them at the top of your Facebook business page, write them a Google or Yelp review, include them in a flyer about your new customer packet, give them the open and click report, the leads that click on their stuff from your emails, interview them about their business for their own branded content and meet with them to coach them to how to help them grow their business. How much is that worth? Well, that's for you to decide and the confidence in that. For some people, it's worth a lot, at least a couple hundred bucks. I'd argue a lot more than that, all right? So in the description 
or on the blog post for this video, I'm going to include for you a template that you can download and you can print and fill in the blanks essentially as a sponsorship agreement that you can give to someone who would like to sponsor your blog. Simply fill in the information, check what they're gonna get of the options, write in the price you wanna charge them, and there's gonna be an option at the bottom for them to write their credit card information. They sign up, you got their credit card information, you go run it, and it's on some type of monthly auto subscription. Um, if you've never used uh, credit card processing before, um, there's a whole bunch of them. I'd probably just recommend going to PayPal or Stripe uh, for some type of monthly reoccurring by putting a credit card in that you can bill somebody if you haven't set that up. But what a great way to raise money to at least, at a very minimum, zero base or offset the full cost of your viral marketing spend. So you basically get viral marketing for free as long as you bring value to your sponsors. But at the end of the day, and this goes back to what we talk about here on the show, all of your sponsorships will fall apart if you're not building your database and building your audience and creating content they actually want to watch. And that's what we're all about here at Viral Marketing. So go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our blog. You can go to our uh, website. And at the very bottom, there's an option to sign up for our VIP list. We get our newsletter. We send out a newsletter of every single show that you can subscribe to. And um, you can listen to these shows to learn how to do a better job of you know, reconnecting with your list, growing your database, communicating with your database. So you can build this media company, this attention, this lead generation machine right, of all people that trust you as being this expert in this, in this area. And you can have multiple offers. You just don't have to have one offer. You can have multiple offers to help people, whether they're referral relationships or you own all the companies. And that's how you think of like a big business. So I challenge you, get on video, start doing this, go download the video market plan, the homepage of our website, and maybe think about some sponsors of who might want to be in front of your audience. Go meet with them and show them the value that you can bring them with your marketing and see if you can raise some money to at least, at least offset your viral marketing fee. So I'm Frank Klesitz, the CEO of Viral Marketing. Thank you so much for watching the show today. We'll see you next time. Ah, yes. Ain't that fresh. Everybody wants to get down.